Hello, hello again and welcome to another tutorial in the camera and repair things. And I will just continue with this uh, old Olympus XA uh, and I will try to clean the viewfinder and show some other details in the camera. Uh, and I, uh, yeah, we'll just continue. Need a blower, JIS screwdriver. I know this is a P80, but uh, I have filed the pointed tip so it fits perfect in the screw. I could also use my JIS Moody tools, uh, it's a 2.5 millimeter. And um, yeah, it should actually also be very fine, but I prefer the one I have made because it, it, I know it, well, it fits very good. We need a very little amount of glue. This is a Danish brand called Dana Lean. It's called Universal Glue, um, Universal Lean in Danish. <laughs> um, but you could also use uh, contact glue or, well, some good cleaning, I mean, uh, glue for plastic. Especially because the orange uh, shutter button cover uh, is actually glued into place. Um, a good amount of uh, tweezers and uh, dentist tool is very handy, especially the one here with a very thin spade look-alike, and it's very good to dig under the uh, under the shutter, the orange shutter button, to simply take it off, pry it off. Some cotton buds and. Uh, I will use some Eclipse um, to clean the the actual viewfinder and a little smart tool I think it's just a uh, some peg pads uh, lens tissue which is this brand here and I simply cut them into smaller pieces because it makes it more economic um, and I use a two stick so uh, I think it will work I haven't tried yet but simply roll it as a small um, kind of a lint <laughs> roller but not really but um, I can put it in the viewfinder and maybe try to clean it we'll see First we need to take off the uh, top cover here and one have to lift up the the rewinder uh, handle here I don't know what it actually called but it's the rewinder <laughs> and there is a screw in the middle and under that there are two screws here we need to take them out to get the top cover off don't unscrew this is not necessary but on the back here there is one screw that we need to take out so by uh, opening the film door one can see what's happened in here and uh, that's not really anything special we do not really need to open it but uh, just want to show it so off with the uh, with the screw here in the middle and remember there is a small plate here that mag that acts as a uh, kind of a blade spring a leaf spring to make this uh, flip back into place when it's not in use so so uh, take care of that and there is also a tiny pin in here which we cannot see here at the moment but I will just unscrew it uh, 
have a quick grip and then unscrew it. So it is, and then turn it over. Uh, you possibly can see there is oh, there is a tiny pin in here that goes through the end of the the actual handle here. Oh, where did that screw went? Somewhere. Hmm. But find it later. Okay, we just take it apart. <laughs> this is the spring that I talk about taken out. And re remember how it should face. It should face like this. So the uh, the curve of the uh, spring is actually upward. So when in putting it in, it's just like that. There's also a tiny in the end of the spring here there's a tiny pointy end that needs to go can we show it here yeah it needs to go that way in and then bend it a little and put it in and then it will stay there now the little pin I mentioned is the one that goes through the uh, end of the handle here, which we can. No. Okay, it's not really necessary. But you see, <coughs> the tiny pin here, one can take out. And of course, we can take out the whole thing here. So that's it. Just put it back in again. And then put it in here. So it sit there. And the little spring here. The little leaf spring. Put in here. So, so it looks like this. <coughs> so, <coughs> and now off with the uh, the two screws here on the under the, uh, the rewinder. So. <clears throat> and not we are not yet done because I need to pry this off and for that I will just use my dentist tool to simply dig under it and then flip it up it's just glued into place and off it comes and as you can see probably you can see it has to sit correct because the rounded corner has to sit against the the film counter there's no need for taking out the uh, shutter button itself it's that it is that screw this screw is holding the top cover in place together with this one on the back <clears throat> so out with that and the last screw here will come off and then we are ready to to actually take off the the top cover gently lift it up See what's happened here. Remember, the uh, blind or whatever it calls for the uh, rangefinder. It has to also come in correct when you assemble it. So by lifting it up, 
I mean, it should be possible. There shouldn't be any screws. Mm -hmm. There maybe are some hooks on here somewhere. So, so by lifting up here under here you can just unhook it because there might be some hooks small plastic hook you can see the the notch here so there is one uh, hook somewhere and of course there are two wires that goes to the beeper the uh, uh, buzzer or whatever it calls so the one thing I mentioned about the tiny hook here right beside the viewfinder window there is a uh, kind of a, a hook or whatever it calls that goes in here and so it is so this is how it looks on the on the inside of the top and we could actually try to advance the film and probably if it's possible to fire the shutter by pressing here on the bottom part so this area here then we fire the shutter and then one can actually wind the shutter again and click. Oh, the spacer comes off. But it was sitting here. Right there. Now, <clears throat> one thing to mention also that the uh, blind for the uh, for the uh, viewfinder window can also be taken off and it can only sit in one position it will stay there so when actually turning on the camera this one will move as you can see but uh, of course I need to push it down here to get it free and when I move the the on off for the, the front door I can actually get this to move and uh, if I take off this blind we can see what's happened underneath that this, this pin will move So, but how does it actually look if we take the older version, which I also have one of? The, uh, the way to take it off is actually the same. I mean, take off the uh, rewinder and uh, I will do so. just so we can actually compare what the different there is one different here that the spring here on the uh, rewinder there's a small spacer in here that we need to take care of so if I lift this up if it's possible so now it's free you can see there is a small spacer in here that also can be taken out um, 
and it has to sit there and the pin that is in here is the same as the other one so just put this back in again so it sits there and then I just need to <laughs> put in the little spring here which works the same way okay come on little fellow there it sits and it should be possible to put it in Did it went okay? It's here. So there it is, and it sits there. <coughs> so away with that, <coughs> and then the two screws here. And that's the old version. And then it's the same. Do not unscrew this. It's not necessary. But I will take uh, <coughs> off the orange top cover here for the shutter button. could use a knife also but the dentist tool or a thin screwdriver is very good <coughs> now unscrew the the one screw here and on the back so and then it should be possible to take out and you maybe can see this is a, the older version uh, the the way they have built this they have uh, construct this around the viewfinder blind <coughs> if I move it to turn on the camera you see it works in a different way So they have improved the design of, uh, it's more simple in the newer version. So by, but it's, I think it's the same here with the little hook in here. So by lifting it up here. And then just got the, the top cover off. And then it's the same with the wire, with the two wires here, connected to the circuit board, flexible circuit board here. It's the same. And the little spacer that fall off on the newer camera is sitting here, so there is no problem. <clears throat> but how different are they actually? I mean, if we compare them. Is it possible to there are some difference in the uh, if we take the new version first the area around the uh, the film counter which is here so if I advance And we just click. Come on, where is the that button up here? So, and 
then I'll advance the film and look what's happened with the counter. Click. So there. Do it again. And then it pushed the counter forward once. So And if we look like it's, we have the camera in my hand, and you have your camera in your hand, uh, I just advance, and look what's happened here. Just simply push the counter one step forward, and goes back again, ready for shoot. step more so but how does it look in the older version I think there are some difference in between those two so if I can fire the camera there so look at the uh, counter itself what's happened it push one step forward and goes back. Then fire the shutter and then <coughs> advance again. What's happened there? It clicks forward, goes back again. There. So that's it. <coughs> but how about the rangefinder itself? Well, they actually looks very similar to me. This is the new version, and uh, I will just take off the the cover here, which there is a lot of dirt on the top, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> wow, dirty viewfinder! So take off this. And so we are there. A lot of dirt. And uh, is it possible to take out of some of this? Now it will be interesting to see how good it will be. But some of the lens elements is actually glued into place. So uh, I cannot really do much about it. Because then I think I have to realign the, the viewfinder. They have used some kind of hard rubber or so. But let's see, <clears throat> I could just use my blower and simply blow some of the dirt away. Let's see if the There's not really much to see about the rangefinder. How it uh, will act. Oh. So, uh, well, I will just do uh, try. I mean. Take the back here. How does how hard? I mean, how bad is it actually? Just take a torch. See how. 
bad it is. I mean, it's not really bad, but it could be better. So I think I will try the um, to do the back here of the back viewfinder eyepiece and use some some uh, maybe I should try the the eclipse and a cotton bud a tiny cotton bud just a little mount and let's see how it will actually go Take care of the needle for the light meter. And where is just use a ordinary lens cloth. <laughs> so, and add a few drops of clips. Oh, way too much. Wow, so it's better, but I need a, um, a clean part here, so I'll just cut off. So this part here, that will be fine. <laughs> so, and now I can uh, do the front here. I mean the inner. And I could also do the other side. And hopefully this part here. Oh good. Well, <coughs> there's some dirt on the front. Oh, it fell down. <laughs> See if this can be good, any good. It looks like it's uh, just my torch. Well, it's getting much better, as you can see. I mean the uh, inside, I mean the space between the very front and the next part of the viewfinder, it's uh, hard to reach. Um, of course I could take out this part here, but it pushed all the way over to one side, so maybe it's possible. I mean, it can only be better. So. 
So if I, oh there is a frame in here. Probably see there is a plastic frame in here. So don't damage that. But maybe it's possible to No, it's simply zipped too tight. Eh. Not easy. So I think I will just let it be as it is. And say, hmm, that's fine. It's not much up here, up front, so we're. Uh, yeah, so it is. How about the uh, light meter itself here? And it can actually be moving. So, and it works because, uh, yeah, I've tested. So I think I will just let it be with that. And uh, <clears throat> assemble the camera again. Of course without this, uh, all this dirt and stuff sitting here on this paper. I will just clean it off. So hold on, just take a break. So. <clears throat> Now by using a uh, lint roller, one can actually get off the stuff here, and it's quite easy, I mean most of it. <laughs> Sticks. One could use a piece of tape, of course, if you don't have a a some of those uh, small lint rollers. So if I just use a piece of tape, where do I have some here? Just an ordinary tape, nothing really special. Simply put it on. And hopefully get it off again with all the dirt. Oh gosh, no, it doesn't really work. Because it takes off the the uh, the black stuff. So a lint roller is much better. Huh. Well one lesson learned. So the lint roller is the favorite. <clears throat> Where does this stuff come from? I don't know. But of course um, it's not that hard to simply um, draw it black again. <clears throat> and it's fine for now, it doesn't really matter, there is something black on the top of it, but uh, I think it, it works pretty good. <clears throat> so I will just put this on again, and say that's good for now. there and it sits fine again I mean the the top cover will hold it in place so there is no no special about of course I could use some glue just as but I think I will just let it be with that but the tiny uh, spacer here 
that sits uh, there. I will just uh, glue into place so I know where it sits. Don't add too much glue onto the shutter, close to the shutter button. And where did it go? Here. So, <clears throat> then I'm ready to put on the uh, the top cover. So there, and everything is fine. And oh, <laughs> I forgot something. Hmm. Yes, I really forgot something because. The little tiny spacer was not good glued into place. That was good. Mm -hmm. I will just put it up here on the top and let it sit there. So now it's much better. <coughs> but um, I need to put in the blind for the uh, for the uh, rangefinder window, and I simply forgot that. So you should also remember that. And it goes on. I mean, hopefully it goes on. So there, over that pin, and that the other pin. So it say, sits there. Now, when putting on the top cover, one can push down here at the rangefinder blind to get it between the rangefinder window. I forgot to cl to clean that too. So um, so there. I think it will be much better than it was. <clears throat> and then push down here, and be sure to put the. Range find a window <coughs> through it. So, and now it sits. And then one can press down the the top cover. I mean, one should be possible to push it down. There isn't any thing in in the wrong order. Yeah. There it is. Click. And uh, does it work? Well, <clears throat> we'll see. It's correct. Goes all the way over and opens as a shoot. So that's fine, really. Now, then I will just fully assemble the camera again. Uh, let's see there. Oh. And then the top screw goes in, and the two on under the uh, the rewinder. 
<coughs> so, and then the tiny screw that went away. to be put on. <clears throat> oh, sorry. And is it the correct screw? Yes, it is. Well, <clears throat> I cannot uh, open the, the film door right now but there is a solution you press down here on the bottom push it in and maybe you need a push it even longer in and then open the film door because then you have a better grip here on the rewinder the screw is in then I can just add the Rewinder itself. And hopefully screw it in. So, that's it. <coughs> then close the film door. And uh, continue with the front. Which is here and uh, needs to, to be put in here on the front so one under there here then put it on there is a one screw that goes in here and I could just open the film door again because there is one screw in here in, on the back <clears throat> that I also need to put in so and that's it and now I can actually close the the film door it's not no need for opening it again <clears throat> Everything is clear. Yeah. One screw there, one screw there. Yeah. And then I can just add my my little roller here. And it should sit like that. Now put on the um, the film door, one need to do it that way, put it over here, have the camera straight and put this the door on. It's a bit flexible so there is no problem. But there is one thing that is important. See, this pin here, this tiny pin that opened the, the blind for the viewfinder and turn on the camera. I need to push the film door a bit more than it's, it's halfway closed and then put it down into place because then I can open the film door and the rangefinder and turn on the camera. So it should work. If I didn't push the, uh, this is the older door, but this is the same, exactly the same. This gap here is not meant for anything. So don't use that. The, the pin under here that opened the camera has to go between this area. 
So when opening the door, you push it all the way over and turn on the camera and open the film door. And that's what's happened here. As you can see. <coughs> so now putting on the, uh, the bottom cover. Uh, one should have the film door not closed because it's not possible to put on the um, this area here. You cannot simply put it on because there's one what do you say a kind of a hook here this area here so you have to open the door almost open it's all fine and have the focus pin sit there and then you can add the the uh, bottom cover so Now the five screws comes in. There's one long here. And the next long goes in here. So. And the last one sits in the middle. It goes in here. There's no need to overdo the the uh, tighten of the screw. So flip down this one. And then the last of the short one here. So those two are short. One long, one long and one long. So and now we are actually done. <clears throat> I mean, almost. Just missed the uh, the shutter button cover, which I will glue in to place with a, just a tiny amount of glue. Where did it go here? No need to overdo it. So, and then I can just add this uh, part here, which will sit there. And it worked pretty good. <coughs> so on with the lid here. Okay, we need some batteries. So this, where is the coin? This is good for that. This coin is a bit too big. And then turn on the camera and hopefully it will work. So that's really good. And the viewfinder looks much better to me. So that was that was all for me at this time and about this camera. So hope you can use the information about this. Bye-bye.